even if your kid has exactly what they're looking for, it is impossible, 100% entirely impossible for them to be able to seek out your student athlete or if you are the student athlete, it's gonna be impossible for them to find you without you making it easy for them to find you. Welcome to Turf Talk, ladies and gentlemen. I am Brett Summers. I will be your host for today, as usual. Today we're talking about why 2020 is going to be the easiest year ever to get that college scholarship for all you athletes out there, or if your son or daughter is an athlete. 2020 is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, as of this day, today is the 29th of November. It is about 9.30 at night. And we are bringing you this episode to help you prepare for 2020 because a lot of you parents have children who want to go on to play Division II, Division I athletics, and they would like to get a scholarship. And you'd like them to get a scholarship so that you don't have to foot the whole bill and that the school can help you out with that. And in 2020, your kids and yourself are going to have the easiest time ever getting a scholarship or at least it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier than it has been over the last 10 or 20 years. Now, why is that? Well, if you look in the fine print, thanks to social media right now, you have the ability to go find coaches. You have the ability to go find scouts. You can find them on Twitter and on Instagram. You can, the, the network is a little bit closer now. It's closer knitted. So you have access to more people and those people have access to more people and it's easier for them to put the good word in for you. It's easy for them to, to be honest, for, for you to build up your athlete, your son or daughter's Instagram profile or Facebook profile or YouTube profile with highlights, and you don't have to wait on the huddle highlights either, right? Your parent could pay somebody who can come shoot, a videographer who could come shoot high quality video at your basketball game or your football game or your baseball game, put together a reel for you, put together your height, your weight, your stats, all the things that they do at college and high school showcases with these guys that go to hitters and go to some of these different things or the seven on seven people. They can put together a player profile for you and show what you can do on the field. They can also show what you can do off the field. So let's touch on that for a second. Social media. So on social media, you've got the, the, the major social media platforms, right? So if you're a parent or a student out there and you're taking notes, write these down. You've got Instagram, you've got YouTube, you've got Facebook, you've got Twitter, you've got LinkedIn if you even wanted to, to make a profile that gives all of your vitals as an athlete, your height, your weight, your stats, your all-conference, your all-Americans, whatever, whatever different things that you've achieved as an athlete, whatever things that you've had coaches say about, you could be putting recommendations from your coaches, from your strength coach that you work with privately, from your assistant coaches, from your head coach, from your teachers. You could be getting testimonials from all those people letting them speak highly of you if they think highly of you and putting those those things out there so people can see it. You could be putting out your strength training regimen. You could be posting about your diet every day and the things that you're eating and how seriously you're taking this. You could even put videos and posts out talking about how focused and how dedicated you are on reaching that level. But what happens is a lot of these young athletes, A, they use the social media for entertainment. They scroll around. They look at guys or girls that, that they have no business, that they'll never meet. They are just watching the CBS Sports and NFL Network and ESPN, social media and the Bleacher Report and well, all those other you know NFL quotes and all the things that you guys are looking at, wasting time. And you're not looking at it as a tool to help you get recruited, which is the thing that you guys should be using it as. You can do this stuff that we didn't have access to. You don't have to pay someone $5,000 anymore to make you a recruitment profile. You can go ahead and do that or you can be a part of organizations who will do that for you so that when your coach, who knows this coach, that coach, and that coach can send one message out with your at symbol and tell those coaches, hey, you need to put this guy on your radar, all you scouts. You need to put this gal on your radar. She's a phenomenal volleyball player. Put her on the radar. They can send it out, and those people instantly can click on your profile and see if you're a player or not, to see if you have what it takes or not. And they can follow you. They can maybe reach out to you. A lot of those guys on Twitter reach out, right? Mm -hmm. They go back and forth. So you guys have the ultimate advantage. 
you literally in one day could connect with 30 or 40 different co coaches and scouts. You could call the the you could call each college and you could say what's the name of the person who runs the scouting for the Division 2 baseball team in Florida, the Florida Atlantic University. Maybe you want to play it. You call them, you say, "Who runs this?" Maybe they'll give you a name. Maybe you can do some poking and prodding. You can look around on LinkedIn, LinkedIn and type in um, what would it be? Scout, college scout, and see what comes up, see what populates, see who you can find. Get on as many people's radar as possible. But it's really simple to put a video together of yourself or to put daily videos of you training. Maybe you're doing an amazing lift at your at your school workout or at your strength and conditioning gym like you're doing here. Um, you, you need to get active. No matter who you are as an athlete, what sports you play, you need to leverage social media now because right now, if you look back, these kids are gonna be upset that they didn't have it. I look back and go, man, I wish I would've had that. I could've done this, this, and this to get attention, to get known. Parents, your kids aren't just gonna get known. You have to remember you know, little things, like no matter how good your student athlete is, there are millions of kids out there, millions. It is impossible for every scout, even if they're a great scout, even if your kid has exactly what they're looking for, it is impossible, 100%, entirely impossible for them to be able to seek out your student athlete, or if you are the student athlete, it's gonna be impossible for them to find you without you making it easy for them to find you, right? So write articles about yourself, buy your own website domain. If your name is, you know, give me a, Lamar Washington, if your name is Lamar Washington and you're a football player, Lamar Washington High School Football or football or quarterback.com, go buy the domain on GoDaddy for $10 and start a little website that every day it profiles everything you're doing and it vlogs you from the time you're in seventh grade to the time you're in eighth grade and what you're doing every single day. And when a college scout asks you, hey, you know, are you think you're a good fit for this team? Send them to your website that has you training from the time you're in sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade, and what you're doing every single day. Document it and say, I can't just tell you, I have to show you, coach. Go take a look at what I do. Here's video footage, here's training footage, here's a vlog. Check out my stories, check out my highlights, check out what I'm doing. This is what I do every single day and people will be able to know that you're hustling, that you're putting in the work, that you're passionate, that you're carrying yourself well. You got all these testimonials from all these teachers and coaches and players and, and teammates, things, people telling that you're a good teammate, you've got high energy, you're a leader, you've got all these intangibles. Let them do the selling for you your job is to get attention. Your job as a parent is to help your kids get the attention that they need. Don't be because you're 40, 50, 60, and you don't understand social media that much. Don't be the parent that goes, oh, well, social media, we don't want our kids on social media because you're shooting your kid in the foot. You're hurting your kid because they have access to the number one thing that they need in the world right now to be able to get that scholarship, or at least to be able to get an opportunity to earn a scholarship, maybe walk on somewhere, or maybe become a preferred walk on somewhere. Just give them the opportunity by leveraging social media for the right stuff, not wasting your time on it. Again, my name is Brett Summers. The reason I'm saying this is because I work with hundreds, if not thousands of, of college and high school athletes, and we work with them on a regular basis, and I get to see these things, and I wish people would just let that soak in, that now is the time, 2020, and, and, and moving beyond is the most prime opportunity in the world for you as an athlete or for your son or daughter to get a scholarship. So make sure that you're taking advantage of it. all the little perks that are out there for you and don't use it for entertainment. Use it as a platform to be able to promote yourself in a positive way, not braggadocious way and build up your, your career and your known factor. Be known for something as an athlete and it's gonna pay off in the long run. Thank you guys for joining right now. Again, 9.30 at night, we're cashing out. We appreciate you guys checking this one out. So check out the next episode. And if you want to look back, we've probably got about at least 10, 12, 13, 13 episodes of Turf Talk, which are made specifically for you parents. Sometimes they'll touch on the same things over and over because they're so important. But I think there's some good shows on there for you guys to check out. So go on our YouTube channel or go on any of our accounts and check out some of the stuff we're putting out there because we want to be known for helping athletes. We'll catch you guys soon.